Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Elementor star rating widgets from a simple design to an advanced movement animation to your star rating widgets. So if I scroll this, you can see it's moving up and down by matching with the background and it's giving a beautiful look. So we are going to learn the, both the simple version and the advanced version so let's get started first step for you to go to search bar and type stars rating and you have to drag and drop it the place here where you want to place your star rating let's say if you want to place here you just place it or if you want to create a new section and you want it to be there alone as a single element you just go to this one choose one single section and then go to this option choose star drag and drop like this so it's all up to the view place where you want to drop it next i'll move up and i have dropped this one so the first option inside the rating you have is to choose the rating scale either you can choose from 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 depends upon your requirements next option we have is the rating so how many ratings you want to give for the particular testimonial or whatever option you have. Let's say if you want to give 2.5. So 2.5 rating you can see. I'll change it to 0 to 5 and you'll see 2.5 rating is there. So this is how you can change and you can give the rating in points too. Next option we have is icon. So like there are two options Unicode and Font Awesome. So these are the places from which you can import the icons. Font Awesome is there from long time. So loading will be faster as compared to Unicode. I guess I'm not sure exactly because I believe the default option is always better. Next option we have is the mark style. So you have two options in this solid or outline. If we'll see solid one, there's no empty stars here. If you'll choose outline, you'll see the empty stars. For both the options, if you'll go to styles, you'll find colors for an unmarked color rating. So there's like not much difference, but it will give you a feeling that it's solid and it will give you a feeling that it's only outline and it's empty. Next option is a title. If you want to write a title, let's say rating or you can write down as feedback anything whichever you want i'll write down customer rating next option we have inside is dynamic tags it's going to automatically fetch these information let's say if you want to add user info or whatever the user is there you can directly fetch the user info author info meta author meta or the author name if you'll choose this one the guy who is the author of the page it will automatically going to fetch the name of the author so this is how dynamic tags work next we have alignment so alignment is the responsive option you can choose alignment in the center left right justified or whatever option you like so currently for desktop i want it to be in the left side but for mobile or tablets i want it to be in the center so here you can see it's in the left side but i want it to be in the center so this is how you can maintain the alignment based on the devices. I'll go back to the laptop and then I'll go to styles. Once you're in the style, you have two options. Style for the title, what are the title you have given. And next, you have style for the stars. If you have not given the title, if you remove this title, you'll see that star style is only there. So if you'll add title you'll find style for it if you'll not you'll not find it next option we have inside the style is the title style option first option we have is the text color so for mine text color will be black i'm going to choose it as black next you can choose font type like what are the topography you're using for your own website make sure you're using similar for all these you can add creative font like whatever i have added here july milson 
so you can use a similar font like that i'll go to this i'll add some awesome font yeah it's good right customer rating and you can manage these option line height spacing for uh, text if you want to increase the size of the font you can increase from here i'll go this and i'll increase the size of the text you can maintain the boldness of or the weight of the font from these options you can transform it to our upper case lower case capitalize these options you have let's say i'll customize it to upper case it whatever option you write like lower case also you write it will get upgraded to upper case i'll choose normal so these are the option you can control next option i'll move on is text shadow you can add a text shadow choose a light color shadow like i'll go to this tool it's a color picker i'll choose a color for this light shadow and i'll create a text shadow for this particular color just to match the style next you can manage the gap between the title and the stars next option we have to maintain the style for the stars first option we have is the size size is responsive on all the devices for the tablets and the mobile you can manage it from here you can increase the size of the stars next option we have is the spacing spacing is also a responsive option you can manage for the, all the devices you can manage the spacing from this option next option we have is a color color for the stars you can manage let's say i want the color for the star to be similar to this color so now i'll go to colors option and i'll paste my color which i copied from this one and here you can see it's looking beautiful right then for unmarked color you can choose it the color which you want now if you'll go to this option and if you'll choose solid it will look more better so this is how you can choose solid or outline depending upon the beauty of your website now we are going to learn the advanced option i'll go to advanced and there inside the advanced first option i want to teach you is position first we'll choose it as absolute and now you can move it to the place where you want now you can see it's going back to this so we have to change the z index for this particular icon i'll make it to 2 or 3 whatever like things make it come on the front of the back background so it might be 100 200 depending upon the index you want i've already explained the z index you if you'll search uh, elementor z index you'll find my video in the google on the first page itself it's go mahamaya on 2020 i have explained that thing now we can offset it we can offset it like this and make sure you should make it responsive because or you can hide it on the devices like mobile or and tablet if you couldn't be able to make it responsive for everything you have to change the position if you choose mobile laptop you have to make it responsive or else it won't look good next option we have is motion so when i scroll i want it to animate so i'll turn on so animate how you want it to animate like i want it to animate in the viewport as a 50% after 50% viewport stop working so this is how vertical and horizontal viewport you can manage and next i want to give a rotation to it first i'll go to this one and i'll delete this rating option and now i'll go to offset and there's one more offset option here is transform z and y so this is my transformation and you can see it's looking beautiful right it's matching with the background how the behind screen is moving in the same way my stars is moving and looking quite awesome let me close this one and now we'll have a look you can maintain a little bit of horizontal and vertical alignment to make it more better so this is how you can use star rating widgets on the advanced mode